Keith. And I bet you uh, the, the main thing, the song that comes to uh, Britney's mind is When I think of home, I think of a place where there's love overflowing. I wish I was home. I wish I was back there with the things I've been knowing. You know what? <laughs> My dogs don't like me singing. And I, they're in the house now. And they are really wilding out. I don't know if y'all can hear them. But I certainly can. And I can't even keep a key. Will you be quiet? No! That is insane. They are quiet until I open up my mouth and start singing. Oh, anyways, let me let me go from here, family. That's the end of that. A week after celebrating her 32nd birthday while in Russian prison, following a drug conviction, after mistakenly bringing prescription hashish oil into Russia, WNBA superstar Brittany Griner got some bad news as the appeal of her nine-year prison sentence, okay, yeah, we know that, was denied, and her prison sentence was upheld. But despite the unfortunate ruling for Griner, it appears Russia is still willing to negotiate with the United States about her uh, potential release. On one very specific condition, I'm I'm tripped out because they already said they don't want to hear us talking about her no more if we want her released, um, and that they do things totally different over there. Whereas we may continue to talk about it and hope that they will bring her home. They like if you keep talking about it, we're gonna keep her longer. But anyway, according to a report from the Associated Press, Russian Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said in a conference call with reporters that Russia could continue talks with the United States about the release of Britney as long as those secrets are done in uh, talks are done in secret. So, um, we always say that any contacts about possible exchanges can only be conducted in silence under a tight lid on any information. Two country, the two countries are reportedly engaged in ongoing negotiations as they try to agree to a potential prisoner swap that could send her home. Russia is re recently revealed that despite the United States' effort for Griner's release, it is not seen as a priority by the country. However, the United States has made it clear that they are remaining quite persistent in the negotiations. Russia has major demand for a, a Brittany Griner negotiations um, and appeared first on the comeback um, of, I don't know, some magazine. Now, that to me is a real... Slippery slope. Because like you said, that's not they said that's not the way we do stuff in America, but that's the way they do stuff. And she is on their turf now. And so what they want us to do is be quiet, let these negotiations continue to be done in silence. Um and you know, anything can happen to her. She, I mean, there's no communication. There's nothing. I mean, she's about to go to one of those damn work camps that are too cold in winter and too damn hot in summer. Okay, and you know, it's 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 a a double edged sword. If we don't talk about her, we fear that, you know, they could do something to her and we wouldn't know about it because we're not even talking about it. And then on the other hand, if we continue to talk about her, they can do anything to her as well.
this is a bad situation for her to be in. It's a bad situation for America to be in uh, with one of its citizens. And it's bad for the black community because you already know when a bigger community has a cold, we got pneumonia. So all we can do is keep praying for you, Brittany. And we have to, according to the uh, Putin, keep quiet about this. Stop talking about it. I don't know. What y'all think about that? Y'all think that's a setup? I mean, it's, it's really bad. Okay, I'm going to go. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, share the channel, and I'm going to see you in the next video.